Hello YouTuber, this is Tom Snowy 737 bringing you uh, update number two uh, for this uh, new airport. Um, I did a photo update uh, on like forums and stuff like a week or so ago or two weeks ago. Um, but this is like um, a second update for YouTube. Um, I'm going to go through the update first uh, and then talk about a few things towards the end. Up to you if you want to uh, stay tuned and listen to the rest of that, but uh, I would sort of recommend uh, to do so. Uh, but like I said, we'll crack on with the update first. So first off, we've got this uh, Thompson Sen 3 7, um which is uh, rolling down the runway um, at full thrust, uh, heading out to Papos. And then behind that, just turning on the taxiway, we have this uh, Monarch A320. Which is uh, he which we'll be heading out to Malaga, uh, operating to and from Malaga. Uh, then we have this um, on the main stand uh, section. We have this other, uh, the, the other base Thompson Seven Three Seven Eight Hundred, um, which came in from Faro, but we'll be heading out to Lanzarote um, again because it's based. Obviously, operates. Um, usually two schedules each day, uh, sometimes three of all, though I think at the minute there's only two uh, that I'm going by. So again, uh, both uh, Thompson 738s, both Thompson based, uh, both base Thompson 737, sorry, uh, are in uh, this one on the stand, of course. Uh, then we have this Jet 2 757-200 um, which is just about to be pushed back actually, you can see the tug uh, sort of getting prepared, ready to connect to the um, uh, nose gear, ready for pushback. Um, this will be operating also to Lanzarote. The next that we have this uh, other Jet 2757-200. Um, this is, uh, as you can see with the baggage belts, waiting for its uh, luggage, uh, baggage, whatever. Um, this will be heading out to Gran Canaria, and then next to that, we have this uh, Chet 2737300. Um, this is, of course, a custom. Um, found this by chance actually um, on eBay. Um, so, like, like I say, don't you know, bombard me asking me where I got it from. I got it from eBay, it was a one off, you know, I jumped at the chance when I saw it. Um, this is the Jet 2 Lee's Bradford uh, one actually. Uh, this is operating to, or we be heading out to Alicante uh, once it's uh, obviously, once it's servicing has been done. Uh, then on the cargo side, we'll go around the other side of the board, um, uh, over to the cargo centre. We've got this uh, Atlantic uh, Airlines uh, Lockheed L188 uh, Electra. Um, these actually operate quite frequently. Um, this one in particular will be heading out to Aberdeen. Uh, this one actually did a night stop um, from yesterday. Um, might get a bit confusing in a minute because this one did a night stop from yesterday. Then next up we have this Southern Air 777. Um, again, this one's came in today, came in this early hours this morning. Uh, well, say early hours, about seven o'clock in the morning. Um, and it's actually currently uh, getting underway with the cargo uh, loading. Um, like I said, this operates once a week, so every every Sunday it comes in. And again, this is a night stop for tomorrow, so this will be heading out tomorrow. Um, they don't always load at the same time. Um, it depends how much cargo there is that needs to be loaded. Um, again, numbers vary each and every week. Um, but it came in from uh, Leipzig, um, again I'm not sure how you pronounce that, someone said it's pronounced Leipzig, so I'm still not sure. Um, uh, but yeah, it's getting under full service, as you can see towards the rear we've got the baggage, we've got some more containers there that need to be loaded, and then we've got some towards the front as well that are being loaded as well. So that's the update uh, guys. Um, a bit quick, um, it might be, but uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed it. I hope there's been well, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be sort of 
may be asking questions about the Jet 2 737300. Um, again, if you do want to ask me questions, go ahead. But, you know, I've just told you where, where I got it from. It was a one-off, by chance. I was searching on eBay, saw it, and I just, you know, I couldn't. It was just like one of the moments where you've just got to go for it. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, and also with the two Jet 2 757 200s, they are both the same. They are both the release versions, uh, GLS AA. Um, I, got the, I got another one, uh, a second one, because I thought it looked pretty pretty cool having two, uh, along with the Jet 2 733 as well. Um, again, probably do photo updates on this, so if you want to uh, probably post on Instagram, forums, uh, possibly Facebook as well. There's quite a few groups on Facebook actually, um, uh, to do with scale modelling. So if you're unsure, just search 1400 uh, or something like that. And I'm pretty sure a list of them, aircraft model collectors and uh, the way better, uh, 1400 and 1200 scale pages there, uh, they're pretty the probably the best pages you can uh go to so yeah the, the things i want to talk about uh once now we've done the update um i've got a few listings uh, a few models for sale on ebay they're not all 1400 there's one or two things that i'm selling for my sister as well just in case you're like you know what the hell is that um one or two models nothing rare you know one or two that might stand out is uh, or an Allegiant 757-200, um, Delta 737 700, and Southwest Nevada 737-700, which that's probably a bit more common than the other two. There's a few more 1400, uh, there's a few 172 scale, um, uh, there's a Snap Fit one as well, uh, Britannia Airways uh, 767 uh, Snap Fit. Uh, that I've added on. There's a few other things as well, like DVDs, a uh, game, and stuff. But that's uh, just for your interest. Um, one proposal I do have, and pretty much guarantee it. Once every month, I get a question regarding my EasyJet uh, from someone. It's always the same person. It can be different people each month, um, and they'll be like, oh, "Are you going to sell any of your EasyJets?" Um, and all that sort of thing. A lot of people might think it's pointless me having duplicates. You know, I, I do have like two of near enough each one. Um, and the pro proposal is, um, I, I've been in deep thought about this airport and I'm sort of thinking of actually scrapping the runway. Um, and redoing the, not the whole thing, the cargo centre and everything's going to stay exactly as it is. Um, that's going to stay the same. The only proposal I do have is to change these stands here, the main stands. Change them to four A380 size uh, stands, which will accommodate all wide body aircraft types, so A3, up, to, up to A380 size. Um with obviously handling of 747s, 777s, 787s, you know, all the, all the wide body aircraft. Maybe apart from 767s, because what I'm thinking of doing is I'm actually having another terminal where the runway is. So there's going to be, I've so sort of mentioned it, the wingspan up to A3 it would be up to this roadway here. We'd obviously have like another roadway here next to that. Then we'll have like a main wide body taxiway. Then we'll have the stands here for the uh, narrow bodies uh, up to 767s. I know 767s class as a wide body, but that's how it will be. 767s may operate on the wide body stands. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not doing that just yet, although I want to. I'd, I'd love to sort of jump into it, but I'm not sure when it's going to take place. I need to sort of buy a few things first, um, but that's the idea. And the proposal I have, um, if you guys have any wide body models, you may be willing to trade for an EasyJet A319 uh, or A320. Um, please do contact me. Uh, particular wide bodies I'm looking for are Emirates uh, A380, Expo 2020. I don't want anything that's got a certain sort of decal on it, like England 2015 or the World Cup or the Rugby 
or anything like that. I just want a normal one with the Expo 2020 um, thing. So if you want to trade one of them, I'm going by value, guys. So don't, you know, I hope, I don't want someone coming up to me saying, well, you know, the size of an A319 compared to an A380 is quite significant. It's about value. It's not about, you know, what you're getting for your money. It, you know, I've had, like I said, I've had plenty of people, so some people might be interested. Uh, I'm not sure. So, uh, Emirates A380, Emirates 777s, uh, 777 300ERs, um, uh, ideally, or something like that. Any Emirates 777, really, but a 300 would be uh, more than ideal, more so than a 200. Um, again, in normal colours, uh, hopefully, you know, preferably. Um, uh, Singapore A380 uh, and Qantas A380 as well. If any of you guys have any of them and you are willing to trade for what people call rare, uh, EasyJet models, uh, like I said, I'm only going to give you, if you have one model, I'll trade you for one model. It depends what it is and how, what the release actually is though, because if you're going to offer me like a very early Emirates 777, which isn't as rare, I'll probably do a bit of research and stuff before we, we confirm, um, just to see what the value is uh, and so on, but we'll work something out. But again, if you are interested in maybe getting an EasyJet to trade for a model you have, such as Emirates A380, Singapore A380, Qantas A380, or Emirates 777, or any other uh, wide body that you might think might suit this airport, or you think that I might like, uh, by all means ask. Um, you know, no harm in asking. Uh, you know, you don't ask, you don't get. So that's the proposal um that i have um again the yeah i've been thinking about runway it's not really needed um I've, you know i've i've always thought you know runway i want i, I would prefer to have a runway of course you know i prefer to have everything um and although i do display wide body aircraft on this airport it's it's someone commented actually on wings 900 saying is there anywhere that you actually um park that Emirates A380. I've already got an Emirates A380, but it's one of the older releases we had the Expo 2020 on. Um, so, yeah. Um, he said, you know, have you got anywhere where it goes on stand? And then that sort of made, kicked me and sort of, well, not, you know, sort of made me think, you know what, I really could do with some A380 stands. You know, I've got the cargo centre. That's what I wanted. Cargo centre's perfectly fine. That's going to stay exactly the same. Uh, the tax this taxiway here all the way down might be shifted slightly due to the size of the A380. It's terminal, I'm going to use the same terminal. Air bridges, I'm going to switch to the Witty Wings air bridges because uh, they're made for wide bodies, uh, the Witty Wings ones. And then possibly this terminal here, I might start off just, just having the stands as remote um, until I... I'm able to get another terminal because I don't want to do another terminal that looks nothing like that one. I'd want it to sort of look similar, um, at least, you know. So we'll see see how it goes. Um, but that's that's the proposal. Again, contact me on here by uh, dropping a message below the video. Contact me on Facebook if you know who I am. Contact me on Instagram if you wish uh, by commenting on one of my things or private messaging me on there. Um, you know, whichever whichever way is best for you, really. Um, again, I've sort of dragged the video on after saying all that. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and if you are interested, photos and stuff will be being posted soon. So, again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.